Hey guys, what's going on? Today we woke up this morning and drove down to the Keys and I'm with my mom, my dad, and the crabbing queen right here. This is my grandma. And then we got Victor behind the camera. And today we're going crabbing. We are on the side of the road. We got some chicken necks out, some pilchards, and we're ready to catch some crabs. This is my 88 year old mother and she's gonna provide the catch and cook for this dinner. She's been crabbing on the side. She's got a hidden little trap that she's got a little spot that she goes to check first thing early in the morning. She pulls it up and um, she'll text me a text saying five throwbacks and one keeper this morning or nothing in the trap today or two nice beauties. So she's been catching these crabs and she catches them and cleans them and freezes them because we're probably gonna have a dinner with 10 or 12 people. Our recipe is gonna be like a New Jersey style, a red spaghetti sauce and it's pretty amazing. Look forward to that catch and cook because it's... <gasps> You got something. <laughs> <laughs> Never before seen recipe on YouTube. Yes, this is this is an old Italian recipe. We've done it over and over, and I tell Brooke every time we have it, it's so delicious. I said, you gotta do a YouTube video of this recipe. We did it in New Jersey. You know, we, we clean the crabs and you know, soak them in the spaghetti sauce, and you'll see, it's gonna be amazing. Stay tuned for that. Now, we haven't been back here, and I think it's been nine years. The last time we came here, we got a lot. Yeah, we probably get um, 14, 15 crabs when we come. 14, 15 crabs in one day. So, we haven't been back here in a while, but hopefully we have some luck, so stay tuned. we got going on we got little sticks or PVC pipes with maybe like 20 feet of rope on them and then we have a little weight attached and right now these are chicken necks for bait these and then chicken backs, chicken backs? Yeah, they, they were out of chicken necks. these are chicken backs not chicken necks and then my grandma also had what did she have I think she had some pilchards. and then she also threw out some pilchards so we'll see if the fish do better today or these chicken backs do better but let's go put one of these further down there. Years ago, um, when my parents, you know, taught me to crab, we never used regular weights. No. We used washers. Brooke's got a big um, bolt. Brooke, show, show Victor that bolt. You can tie wow. a bolt to it. We used to use um, uh, cast iron plumbing fittings, anything to weight down your bait, because that, that frozen chicken back, it's not gonna sink to the bottom without a little weight. So you can use one or two washers or any anything at all. So where we're crabbing, there's water on both sides of the road. So normally in the past, we've mostly caught our crabs on that side, but we always throw a couple on this side too, just in case. These things never used to be here. These concrete things, but we always used to catch like a couple small ones over here. But we're gonna throw it out anyways. Don't like the weeds as much? No, I don't like the weeds because then they get caught in the weeds and you lose them. <laughs> What do you think they like more, fish or chicken? I have no idea. <laughs> I never asked them. You never asked them. <laughs> There's a baby crab holding onto this piece of bait. This is a pilchard with a baby crab. So we have 17 hand lines out and basically now what we do is keep walking back and forth down the bank just looking at the lines and they're out just far enough where you can still see the chicken if you could see a crab if it was just sitting on it. So that's what we're waiting for. We're gonna keep walking back and forth and once we see a crab tugging on that, that chicken, time to go to business and pull it in the line. Is it a big one? 
super disappointed. There's a bunch of weeds for him to hold on uh, to. You see him? Yeah. He still He's got a it. Stinker. He's pulling. <gasps> he let go. Come back. Well, come he'll back. come back. He let go again. Come back. Oh no. He's coming back. He's coming back. He came back. He's on it again. But I want the other net. Yeah, this is going to be way better. He's not huge, but he's barely holding on. Don't pull on. anymore. Don't pull. Oh, you're doing it pretty good. You're doing it pretty good. You're doing, doing good, man. You're doing good. What you know about that? Oh, I know about oh, that. You got it. <laughs> you Where'd the go? <laughs> Look at him, he's sleeping. He was sleeping. He's still sleeping. <laughs> he doesn't even know what hit him. No. I saw this crab on the bait and he was on the pilchard. I started to slowly pull That's the line up. in. He got to the very edge of the net and just stopped and let go of the bait. And I waited like 10 minutes and then finally I took my net out of the water Put it behind him and just yanked it over him. There you go. How big do you think this guy is? Like three inches? Yeah, we're not going to keep him. We don't keep crabs unless they're six inches or better. Six inches tip to tip. Tip right? to tip. Now, blue claws don't have a size limit. In Florida. In Florida, they don't have a size limit. So technically, you could keep this guy, but we would never keep a crab this small because he's not going to have a lot of meat on him. Alright, I'm gonna let him go. Yep. Bye! This is probably, I think, the slowest day of crabbing I've ever had. That's why they call it crabbing, not catching, Brooke. We caught that one little crab, and I think we're gonna wrap it up and possibly go try another spot, and then check my grandma's trap that she hasn't checked yet today, and she normally catches a couple in there every single day. So hopefully we go there and catch a couple, so stay tuned. All right, so now we are checking my grandma's trap that she puts out, and we're gonna see what's in it. She every hasn't, single day. She checks it every single day. She hasn't checked it yet today, That's so we'll see. Fish. What? That's some fish. That's some fish? Oh, I see a crab in there, no? I see a crab. Yeah. 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 Oh. I see <laughs> two crabs and a pufferfish. You want me to grab it? It's stuck. It's stuck on the barnacles. Here, Brett, hold this. I gotta swing it out. Look. You gotta get out of the way, please. Next move. Wow, you got three. Oh, that's stinky stuff. And two pufferfish. I'd eat every single one of those. <laughs> if I let them out, will everybody step on one? Sure. I usually let them go in a bucket. I got one. Be careful! Oh, nice. He's only yeah. got he's only got one claw. Here we go. Let's see what he has point to point. He is five inches. We don't keep five inches. No. No. So you keep what? Five, six inches. Six, six inches and better, and that's a five incher. It's a nice size crab. Most people would probably keep that thing. Look at the size of the claw. You only need three more for twenty-four. Yeah. Why don't you get in and say, "Yeah, we'll take all three. Nope. Oh, you're stubborn. This one here is five and a half. This one's gonna be even smaller over here. I'll eat a small one. This one says he wants to go in the pot. Does he? Yeah, he, he, he says he wants to be an Italian pasta dish. Is that what you dish. want to do? Yeah. Oh, he's, he looks like the smallest one. He's almost six. It's point to point, right? Yeah, point to point. So maybe that's not a good method. He's six. I can see it from here. That one's going to be a female. Well, that's a, that's a big female. Now you are allowed to keep females, you just couldn't keep it if it had eggs, which it doesn't have eggs. If it had eggs, you'd be able to see it on the bottom of them. This is the only one that's six inches. Well, I say, you know, 
We keep all three then. then we so, <laughs> so my grandma goes crabbing and she frees, she cleans them and then freezes them. And then once she has enough for us to have a big family dinner, about what, 24? Yeah, 24. Once she catches 24, then we normally have a big family dinner. And she has 21 in the freezer right now. And so we needed to catch three crabs today to be able to have this family dinner. And this is our three crabs, which my dad doesn't let her keep anything that's smaller than six inches. She this one's- She throws back a lot of five and a half inches. She's yeah. throwing back a lot of five and a half inches. This is a six. We have two five and a half inches, but he's gonna make an exception so we can have a dinner. <laughs> there we go. See ya. Okay, so my mom has cleaned a lot of crabs, so she's gonna show you guys how to clean them. Uh, I hope you don't come and bite me. I think he's too dead. Oh, this guy get lost. Not too. dead, but. So you're just ripping off the top part of the shell, which goes, pulls off the bottom. And this goes in the water. Yeah, yeah, you can throw that in. Eat the fish. Those are called the gills. Rip the gills off. And then we just squirt all the guts out, right? Yeah. And then that's how we cook them. Whole like that. Yeah, let me. Is it on? Yes. Oh, that looks wow, beautiful. Look at that. I can taste it already. <laughs> Do another one? This one's only got one claw, so he won't really get you. Since they've been on ice, like numb, no, no, numb them, no, basically. Yeah. So now they're not really going to pinch you while you're cleaning them. If we had just caught them and then tried doing this, then they could probably get you. She's a professional. Say comment below if you want to see more videos with Burke's grandma. You're not used to these little ones anymore, are you? No. The last one I caught, I took it home and put it on ice too. You did? Yep. So it was because easy to of, clean? Because I was getting bit with them. Really? <gasps> That's not good. I know. Well, it ain't gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just didn't feel good. Here's our finished product. So you have 21 of these in your freezer at home, right? Right. So she's got 21 of these, and these are probably the smallest ones of the 21. <laughs> she's got some nice big boys in the freezer too. And we needed these last three for, so we could have our big family dinner, because we're gonna have 12 people, and everyone's gonna get two crabs, which we're gonna be cooking up tomorrow night. So we'll see you in the kitchen tomorrow night. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Now, I got a whole family load of people here and we got Fisher behind the camera, so don't wanna forget about him. But we are ready to have a big family crab dinner. We haven't done this in a long time, but this is my grandma's favorite thing. She loves going out there. <laughs> she loves going out there and catching crabs. <laughs> so. So take over for No, oh, this is the best part. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is what, so touching. <laughs> this is what she lives for. Oh, uh, Brooke, this is so touching. Bring us all together. And she goes out there every single day trying to catch crabs just to have a big family dinner. <laughs> so thank oh, you, Mom. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That That's was okay. Life all about family. And now you're going to see an amazing crab recipe. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. enough of that. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> Alright, first thing we're doing. Olive oil nice and hot, and we have onions going in. Alright, so we got Victor's onions that he threw in there nice and brown. Now we're going to put in some garlic. We're going to put all of this in here. And we don't want to really cook our garlic too much. Once we start smelling it, 
a little brown, then we're going to add some wine in there. Now I'm going to add my wine. So now we're going to let that get hot and start boiling and reduce by half. We're going to put in half of our parsley now. And then we're going to save some for the very end. One big can of peeled tomatoes. You don't put in all the juice? Yeah. Oh, you're crushing them. Oh, yeah. And Brian got some locally made Italian Doris's Market marinara sauce. Another marinara. Crushed tomatoes, whole can. And we need a lot of liquid because we're cooking crabs in here and crabs take up a lot of space, so we want a, as much stuff in here as possible. One can of water. One can of water. You can't buy this stuff at the store. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be the finishing touch, one can of tomato paste. I think it's going to be good. It always is. Once you cook 24 crabs in that sauce, it just gives it a delicious flavor to put on top of your wing. The crab itself makes the sauce too. You start to taste the crab in the sauce. And I think that's a big thing too. The more crabs you cook in there, the better the sauce gets. One stick of Land Lakes going in. Disappeared. Can't see the calories. <laughs> We have 11 people here tonight, so we're gonna put 11 crabs in at one time. We're gonna do two separate batches. The reason for so much juice is you want them completely under the sauce. You don't want any sticking out, not getting cooked all the way. And then a couple were missing claws, so there's their extra claws. So just push them down in there, make sure everybody's covered in sauce. Just let them cook for a few minutes. All right, so they've been in for what, eight minutes? Eight minutes, minutes, eight minutes. Now we're gonna take them out. Oh yeah, look at that. And we're gonna spice them up with a little J-O-2. Delicious. Just like that. Look at that. Ooh, baby. That's Momo, huh? So. Yeah, she deserves it. Give this one to Momo. Alright, so the second batch, we did all the smaller ones first. Now the second batch has big boys. Check that out. So now the second batch is going to get the rest of them. See if we can get these babies down in there. That's why you need that much sauce. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, we're going to let these sit and let's go eat the first round. Now, the secret to this is you have to wear a dark colored shirt because you know it's going to get all over you. And you can see the people who know what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know what Fisher's doing over there. He's wearing a white shirt. <laughs> I got red pants though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're just Ooh, look at that. Mmm. It's probably been a year since we've had these, huh? A long oh. time. Oh yeah, it's been a while. Cheers everybody. Cheers. 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 Here's to my mom's catch and cook. <laughs> 88 years old and still getting it done. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.
time. So now we are on round two. I'm give this one to my mom. This looks like the, this looks like the big one, and I'm gonna give that one to my mom. She said she wanted the little ones, but guess what? You know better. Guess what? what you She's not getting what she wants. <laughs> She's getting the big boy. Look at that. Boom. Look at that one. It's a beauty. Who gets it, bro? She doesn't want to let go. Who gets it? Um, Uncle Marty gets it. Uncle Marty gets it. Look at that. Look at Whoa, that. Oh, baby. Wait. Let's see that J.O. Buster says you don't need um, oil in your pot, but I like putting it. Yeah. Don't Ghost keep busters. <laughs> what did I say? Ghostbusters. That's what Buster says. You need oil. We had We're 22 crabs. We, we thought 22. we had 24, so it ended up working out perfect because everyone still got two and no one got any extras, so that worked out good. So we added the pasta to the sauce. That is the biggest pot of pasta I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Three and a half pounds. At least we had enough sauce. Look at that. Plenty of sauce. It's been a long time since we've used this pot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is this the best catching cook ever? Happy birthday! to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Candace. Happy birthday to you. Well, everyone just finished dessert. It was actually Candace's birthday in a few days. So happy birthday to Candace, early birthday. And wh what did you guys think of the dinner? Oh, man, oh, it was awesome. Wow. It was awesome. Wow. Bravo. Be best. Woohoo! Shout out to Mom Mom for bringing us all together. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, I think you guys saw Brooke's reaction. You can't fake that. And I think that's the way everyone kind of feels that everyone's together. and. You have an amazing woman, 89 years old, right? 88. Gonna 80. be 89 in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> She's 89 years old. 89 in two weeks. Yeah. 88, and she lives for her family, which is awesome. And she wakes up every day, goes and gets crabs, so this can all happen. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for making it all everybody possible. Is welcome. Glad you're all here. See? Wow.